Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we're taking a closer look at the temptations that people have to see if we can figure out why we're tempted to commit sins. People generally commit sins because they're after something they want, and they sin in an attempt to get it, so we're looking over the things people want. Today, acceptance. Again, let's begin with a usable definition of this term. To accept something or someone in this context usually means Definition 2, to give admittance or approval to Also Definition 3b, to regard as proper, normal, or inevitable And Definition 4a, to make a favorable response to Very often this is what people mean when they say they want to be loved Acceptance is different from fame because it doesn't necessarily need to be widespread or coming from many people even a single person can accept another person. Unlike fame and power, however, the dangers of acceptance are built right into it, and it's very hard to use it for good. The longing for acceptance comes from a wish to be sufficient, to be up to the task at hand and appreciated for what we've done already, and while appreciation isn't bad by itself, being fully accepted at any point in our lives wouldn't be good for any of us. What we're really longing for when we crave acceptance is perfection. We want to be told that we're just where we need to be, that we're already perfect and don't need to continue the constant struggle for self-improvement, recognition, and success. However, none of us is already perfect, so being told that would be a lie. There's nothing good about being lied to, but what's even worse than being lied to is believing that lie. If we absorb the claim that we're just fine, just perfect the way we are, and begin to think of ourselves as perfect, not only is that an easy gateway to pride, which is never good for us, but it discourages us from continuing to improve, and causes us to stagnate and become less perfect day after day. The further types of damage that pride causes, the tendency to try to elevate ourselves and our interests over those of others, are too big and numerous to describe in just one episode, so overall, it's best not to pursue total acceptance in this current life at all. That said, it's not a totally bad thing to be accepted. In fact, it's the goal we're all aiming for in the end. Then shall the king say to them that shall be on his right hand, Come, ye blessed of my father, possess you the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry, and you gave me to eat. I was thirsty, and you gave me to drink. I was a stranger, and you took me in. Naked, and you covered me. Sick, and you visited me. I was in prison, and you came to me. Matthew 25, 34-36 The problem with the temptation of acceptance, really, is a matter of putting the cart before the horse. Our lives here on earth should be used as an opportunity to continually improve in virtue, love, and faithfulness to God, among other things. At baptism, God accepts us into his family as his children, but final acceptance... The reaching of our own real potential is meant to come after the time of improvement here on earth is finished. This is the acceptance that we should be trying to obtain more than any other. His Lord said to him, Well done, good and faithful servant. Because thou hast been faithful over a few things, I will place thee over many things. Enter thou into the joy of thy Lord. Matthew twenty-five twenty-three. Next time, the temptation of pleasure. That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.